Welcome students. I am so glad you could join me for our how to draw a unicorn face. This is going to be slowed down. It's for beginner drawers and we're going to go step by step. Today for your materials, you are going to need pencil, one pencil, one blank sheet of paper, and some markers or crayons or coloring pencils, whatever you would like to color at the very end with. Now, I recommend write, drawing this in pencil first because we are going to be doing some erasing and fixing as we go. Okay, students? Okay, if you are ready to draw, can I get a big thumbs up? Okay, let's begin. On your piece of paper, you're going to draw with your pencil two little dots, just like this. So how I would have your paper is I would have your paper up and down. So like that. So your paper's up and down like that. It's vertical, okay? And then on your piece of paper, you're going to draw your two little dots about this far apart. And then we will go to step two. Great, okay, let's move to step two. Okay, for step two, we are going to connect the dots. So starting at this dot over here, we're gonna draw a big half circle and connect our other dot. And then we're going to do the same for the bottom of our unicorn face. We're gonna start here, draw a big half circle and connect the dot. I'm going to let you catch up and then we'll move to the next step. Good job. Let's move to the next step. Our next step is we want to grab our eraser and erase those big dots. We want to erase those big dots and fix our line so that it looks nice and smooth. So go ahead and erase the sides or you can erase the dots completely and connect your lines, but make it look nice and smooth. So we have a nice little circular head for our unicorn. Excellent. Okay, we're going to move to the next step. We're gonna add our unicorn eyes. So for this step, we are going to draw two circular eyes right in the middle, about the middle of our unicorn. So go ahead and draw one eye and then draw the other eye. One tip for drawing circles with pencil is on your paper, you can kind of, before you draw with the pencil, trace your hand around like a circle so that your hand knows the movement you're going to draw. Then after you circle on your paper for a little bit, then you can put your pencil down and draw the circle. Okay, so what that looks like is we'll circle our paper for a little bit, and then when we're ready, we'll put the pencil down and our circle will be a lot neater. So that's a little art tip for you to draw circles. Okay, are we ready to move on? If you're not ready, don't forget, you can pause the video at any time. Let's move on to our next step. Now for our next step, we are going to draw a little dot. So right underneath the eyes, go down 
about two inches or so and draw a little dot right here. Excellent drawing so far. Let's continue to our next step. For this step, we're going to start at the dot and connect the line to the side of the face. So let me show you guys with my Just like so, so you'll connect it from here to here. Then you're going to draw another line. Starting at the dot, you'll connect here to here. Or if it's easier for you, you can also start on the outside and draw to the center. Start from the outside and draw to the center. Good job, good job. Okay, let's go ahead to our next step. For this step, just like before, we're going to grab our eraser. So we're gonna grab our eraser and erase right here around the circle so that now our unicorn head has a nice smooth line. So you can erase the circle completely and connect the lines or just erase the sides of the circle just so it's nice and neat. Okay, once you have erased that, now we're going to move to our next step and we are going to add our little unicorn nostrils. So right here, we are going to add our nostrils. So we'll draw two little circles, okay? Two little circles. Okay, for our next step, we are going to start with our unicorn hair. And for this one, we're gonna start here and we're gonna draw our pencil all the way across and stop right here. Once you stop here, then you can take your pencil, start at the top again, draw a swoosh, and then you're gonna connect it to that dot, okay? So you'll swoop down, stop, then you can start from the top again and think about connecting it with that other line. So you'll swoop down and then connect. Excellent job. Okay, don't forget, you can always pause the video if you're not ready to move on, but let's go ahead and take a look at the next step. For the next step, we're going to be adding some more hair. So after you add it, start up here at the same starting point. We're gonna go up, down, and connect. Same starting point, up, down, and connect so that we have our nice hair piece for our unicorn head. Remember students, it does not need to be perfect. Look around, look at all of our hair. Our hair is not always perfect, so it does not have to be perfect for our unicorn hair, 
Just make sure you get that kind of swoosh for the unicorn's mane. Okay, don't forget, you can always pause the video. We're gonna go ahead to our next step. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to take our eraser and we're going to erase those lines that were in the hair. See those lines that are in the hair? We're gonna go ahead and erase those lines. So now that our hair piece and our hair mane looks nice and smooth and neat. So go ahead and erase those lines that we drew of the head from the hair. Okay, students, now what we are going to do is add our unicorn bow. So for this step, we are going to add a little type of a square with rounded edges. So we're gonna add our little square with a rounded edge, so it's circular. Great job. Let's add more of our bow. So we're gonna add the sides of our bow now. And what we can do is draw a line out, draw a line out, and then you can connect it. Or you can draw a line out and down, and then connect that. Or you could draw a line out and connect, okay? So draw the little bow here. Now this is where you can be a little creative if you want to draw a large bow, if you want to draw a smaller bow. You can add a little of your own flair to your unicorn head. Now we're going to go ahead and add the unicorn ears. So for the ears, I drew one huge triangle like that. And then for the inside ear, 
I just drew a little mini triangle right inside. Okay, so a big triangle and then a smaller triangle right inside. That will be one ear. When you're ready, you can add the second ear over here. So for our second ear, again, a big triangle up and down, and then a smaller triangle inside. Make sure they are proportioned, so about where the ears should be apart. Don't forget you can pause the video at any time to catch up. Those that are ready, I do want to go to our next step where we start our unicorn horn. So after you have completed the ears, we're gonna go ahead and draw a dot at the very top of our paper, just like so. After you have the dot, we're going to go ahead and connect the lines. So from the dot, you will draw a line down. From the dot, you will draw a line down. Or if it's easier for you, you can start at the head and draw a line up. Start at the bottom and draw a line up. Once you have your unicorn horn, we're gonna add some decorative lines. So starting over here, just draw a line across. Starting over here, draw a line across. Starting over here, draw a line across. I want to go ahead and show you the finished product for those that are ready to move on so you can see the little detailings. And then you can color and enjoy your unicorn head if you're not caught up, you can still see the steps, okay? So take a look at my finished unicorn head. I added for the eyes, I colored them in black and I added two white circles in there to show some dimension. I also added a little smiley face for our unicorn. So this can just be a little curved line with a little C at the end. I added some line detailing for the bows. I colored my hair and colored my unicorn horn. Now this is where you can be creative students and really make your unicorn yours. At the end of your coloring, I would love it if you could Think of a fun name for your new unicorn friend and write your unicorn name on top. I think this unicorn, I think I am going to name it Pinky. That is a great unicorn name. So this is my new friend Pinky. P-I-N-K-Y. Think of your own unicorn name for your new friend. Don't forget you can pause this video. Thank you for drawing with me and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.